You've been really quiet tonight. Is something wrong? No, I haven't gone tiptoeing through your mind. I didn't want to pry. I only enter your mind when I've asked first. Yes, sometimes your emotions are really strong and I can feel what you're feeling. Like when we make love. We seem to merge our minds automatically. But that's different. Well, you once said it felt like an invasion, and I never want to do that to you. I'm glad you think it's different now. Yes, it's very intimate. Do you want me to merge our minds? Sure, of course. Oh, baby, come here. Your mind is whirling. Why didn't you tell me you were so stressed out? Shh, I know, I know, it'll be okay. I knew something was off, but I had no idea you were this upset. Why did you hide it from me? It's my right to worry about you. I'm your mate. It'll be okay. We'll get through this together. You're right. It is different for me. I was born vampire, but that doesn't mean you have to go through all this alone. I'll help you. I don't understand why you're so afraid, though. You have strength untold now. You have all the abilities of a born vampire. Once you learn how to manage your powers, you'll be almost unstoppable. There are so many gifts you haven't even experienced yet. Yes, yes, you're right. There are some limitations. Sunlight is one of them. That's true. There's a slim chance that we are daywalkers. But I'm not in a hurry to test that theory. I'm not going to let anything hurt you. I will keep you safe. Yes, I can see from the chaos in your mind how much the heightened senses are bothering you. In time, I think you'll appreciate them. I'd feel lost without them. Oh, baby, shh. I've got you. Just turn the sound down. Here, let me help. Did you see how I did that? So you're saying if you don't constantly think about it, it creeps back up. I guess I've learned to ignore it. Much like you used to tune out the sounds of the, the refrigerator or the air conditioner. I've learned to tune out the sounds of insects or conversations far off in the distance. Remember when we flew to the healers and I helped you hold the image of the water vapor? I can do that same sort of thing here. If I stay in your mind, I can keep the volumes at a level that works for you. You're expecting too much from yourself. You have to give yourself time. I'm very proud of how you're managing all the changes. No, 
baby, I, I can't change you back into a human. Not the way you're thinking, anyway. Yes, Byron changed back when his maker was killed. Since I converted you, if I die, then you will revert back to human. No, that's the only way. I know you weren't suggesting that. I'm in your head, remember? It's okay. We'll work through this. Yes, I am sure. You want to do something normal? Okay, like what? Eat candy and popcorn and watch a movie. Um, well, the movie isn't a problem. We can certainly do that. Any movie you want. But, yeah, you really shouldn't try and consume anything other than blood for a while. Your digestive system can't handle human food. Shh, it'll be okay. Here, I have an idea. Taste this. See what you think. No, you won't get sick. Does it taste like popcorn? I'm glad. I pulled the memory from your mind. You were at a movie theater with friends. No, it isn't actually popcorn. It's an illusion. Are you sure you want the truth? They're frozen blood cubes, like ice cubes, but instead of being made from water, they're made from blood. I'm controlling the temperature, the texture, and the taste as part of the illusion. Yes, if you have a memory I can pull from, I can recreate any taste sensation. Chocolate. Sure, picture it in your mind. How's this? I'm glad. Yes, you can create illusions like that too. <laughs> yes, you can scare the hell out of your friends. But they can't know magicals exist, so we'll have to figure out a plausible excuse for whatever it is you create. No, baby, your life isn't a lie. There's just parts of it that you won't be able to share with your human friends. Yes, it's true, you will outlive them. It is sad. I won't lie to you. It's why some magicals choose not to mix with humans. Well, it's hard to mask the fact that we don't age as they do, and it's upsetting when they pass. Death is part of life. I know it's difficult to think about, but even humans have to deal with the loss of friends. Yes, most likely you will outlive many generations of humans. Consider this. The lifespan difference is similar to what humans have to go through with their pets. 
many humans have several generations of pets during their lifetimes. It is different, and yet, in some ways, it's, it's very similar. I know it's a lot to take in, baby. I was so happy when you suggested it that I jumped on the idea without really giving you time to think it all through. I have lived a very long time, Landry, and I've searched the world for you. Once I found you and realized you were my mate, it was a dream come true. But still, I should have waited. I should have better prepared you for the changes before we took the plunge. There are other converted vampires. We should have talked to them, so you'd have had a better idea what to expect. Honestly, I never considered how disconcerting the changes to your hearing and vision would be. Managing the inputs is much like walking was for you as a human. It was a skill you learned early, and you don't even really think about the mechanics of it anymore. You just stand and walk. That's how it is for me, but that's no excuse. I should have thought about it and warned you. I'm sorry, Landry. I knew the taking of blood would be difficult at first. I expected that, but... I knew that either through compulsion or through illusion, I could make that work. I had a plan for that. I should have had a plan for these issues as well. You don't want to think about it all right now. I understand. Here, cuddle up beside me and we'll watch a movie. See the remote control on the table over there? Picture it floating through the air. Look at that. You did it. It's okay that it flew a little wonky at first. You did a great job. What in the world is a rom-com? A romantic comedy. Well, sure, yeah, I'll watch it with you. But I hope it's better than some of the stuff Cobalt tortures me with. <laughs> Let's just say he and I have different tastes in films. You want a blanket? Sure, I'll show you how to make one. You can also control your body temperature if you'd rather. Oh, I see. Cuddling under a blanket is more about comfort than temperature. Sure, I get that. Picture it in your mind. Any kind of blanket. As long as it's natural fibers. Think about the size, the color, the thickness, how soft you want it, anything that's important to you. <laughs> yeah, it is handy, isn't it? Just have a little faith, babe. We'll figure this out. I promise. 